Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a picture in this book here. I was asked when I posted a picture on this little mousy page here, the teapot with the mouse inside the um, teacup taking a shower, <laughs> how I did the um, coloring on the mouse. And I kind of looked through the book and I found a couple of extra mice, but they don't have um, their eyes open. So I was going to go ahead and do this page here and uh, at least do one of these little guys in white, just like I did on the other page. And then I'll um, just finish up the page because <laughs> I don't just want a little mouse sitting there. So what I'm going to do is put the uh, camera down at an angle and I'll show you uh, first off I'm going to have to color the chair in because when I did the uh, other mouse it's done with a Posca or a um, Uniball Signo Pen and I bring out the uh, white into the area that's in the background so the background does have to be done so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll show you how I do the chair because I think it's just the chair background that could be done here maybe the blanket but basically the chair there's really nothing in the background over on this little guy but chair needs to be down there so we're going to start with the chair and then we'll get to the mouse <laughs> so I'll put the camera down hold on all right uh, first off we're going to start with um like all the little dots and the little tiny branches here and I'm going to bring in uh, Prismacolors, that's what I did the other page in. So it's Raspberry 1030, Light Peach 927, and um, I'm going to add just a teeny bit of the Black Raspberry, which is 1095. We're just going to start off with the Raspberry and go kind of in the, um, well, the little dots down here on the bottom. on all of those. Not much color on there to start with. And we'll stick some down on here. On the uh, leaves, it'll be down in this corner here. on the teacups on the other page, we're going to be doing the same kind of pattern. I don't know if you can hear the guy with the leaf blower outside. He's Trying to get rid of pine needles and leaves in his front yard. He'll probably be at it for a couple hours and I figured I might as well start a video before the evening here. <laughs> Pretty sure he's going to be out there that long. Okay. <clears throat> you kind of get the hint on that. We come back in here with the uh, light peach. And just kind of pull that color out to the tip. On all the leaves. And we'll do the same thing with the dots. They're a little smaller, but just run your pencil over the light and dark areas, putting a kind of firm pressure on that. That's why they didn't put too much color in there. This one will pull out a lot of color here. 
Okay, we'll just finish up the ones we have. And of course, if you've watched my videos, <laughs> this will be the time I pause it and finish up all the little red areas. And as soon as those are done, then I can do the uh, main color on the chair, which is going to be kind of a blue-gray color. I'm following the same color palette that I did on the um, teapot, the teacups, and it'll follow to the next page. I'll give you a refresher if I can find the page in the next four minutes. <laughs> you don't need to be sitting here staring at me doing that. So what I'm after is doing the same color effect here and then we're doing the bluish gray that comes down. And we'll probably be putting a little bit of these, um, I don't know if you can tell, but we've got glitter on all those little dots to uh, brighten up the page a little bit. So I'll go ahead and finish all the little red dots that are on the couch and um, the little bit of piping here. So we'll just take the, uh, let's see if we can get here the raspberry kind of going up and then where it might get a little darker We're going to do it on both arms. Hmm, probably should have left that gray, but I'm going to do it in red since I put it down. And red is really a problem trying to erase. <laughs> Okay, so if we're going to have the piping there that's red on the arms, it'll have to be up here and on the cushion. That's okay. I would have preferred it in the blue-gray color, but it'll work out fine. Okay, then you just take in the light peach, bring it out, blend it to the middle. Blend that in a little more. Just bring in the raspberry again. Just very lightly touching it. I'm going to do a heavier line on the outside. And then just lightly bring in the color to the peach. Same here. Do a little darker on the bottom. And then just lightly bring it up into the peach. Even a little highlight there in the center. Okay, 
I'm going to go back over it with the peach again if you want, just to make sure it's a nice soft blend. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll be doing all the piping like that. There's a little piece up here, so we'll get that also. Dark here, and then we'll go light up. Dark up here. Bring it down. The peach. If you want to make it a little darker, just bring in the raspberry again. And then any corners where you want a lot of depth, like just bring in the black raspberry. And then just add a little bit of that in down at the bottom. And bring it into the raspberry. You can do that on the little leaves that are in the pattern here. Just to add a little bit more color down there. And then down on the feet down here, you can do the same thing. Okay. And on this area here. Oh, it just adds just a little bit more to it. So I'll get all the red done and then I'll be right back. Okay, the chair is all done in red. And then we're going to bring in the uh, gray tones that are going to do the background fabric, which I probably should have done first, but you know, hindsight. <laughs> so we're going to start at the top. I should probably move the um, camera up a little bit so you can see that. Okay, so we've got um, all the cool grays. So we have 30%, 50%, 70%, and 90%. So it's PC 1061, 1063, 1065, and 1067. I might even get out a lighter set, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to be doing the darkest and then going over some areas, maybe even leaving some of this area the page and not coloring it in, just to give it its highlights. So we're going to go in with the um, cool gray 30% first, and I missed a dot. <laughs> That's about right, right? So we're just going to add it in here very, very lightly. So I want to get like a little foundation of the color coming out, but I want it to be very, 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 very light. So not much pressure on this. In fact, if you wanted to hold your pencil back farther, you can do that. And then you'll have less pressure on the pencil. I need to have some kind of control over the pencil so I can't do that. <laughs> so very light. It's okay if you go over the red, but you don't want to bring the red out, so you just have to be careful. Like I said, I could have done this at the beginning. I don't know how much. 
much of this you can see, so I'm going to move the book up. Okay, underneath the arm here, it's going to be the darkest because this cushion rolls over, so we want to Kind of put a darker pressure on that. We're going to add a darker gray, but I got a little of that red. If it bothers you that the red comes in there, just erase it. Try to be a little more careful around there. Obviously, it doesn't bother me much. <laughs> We've got um, two legs and then a bunch of books because this chair is missing a leg down here at the bottom. So I'm going to do these in gray also. The books are going to have to be done in different colors. Don't want a pile of gray books down there, but I'm going to worry about those later. Right now I'm just trying to get the chair done so we can get on to the objective of this video, the mice. Just a base layer, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be on the chair. This is like a little button tucked into the fabric, so <laughs> I'd hate to recover this chair. I um. I recovered chairs and couches where I have. I've done a couple of couches and a couple of chairs. I think I even have pictures of the last chair I did on my Instagram. My cat was trying to be very helpful. <laughs> so I had it all torn apart and you thought, oh yay, I get a cat tree out of it. And I'm like, oh, no buddy, sorry. <laughs> Got to move. Okay, a little bit of the chair right back here, so we're going to get that all nice and gray. Also, and up here. There we go. Uh, hopefully, you can see this. There's a little bit here and a little bit in here. Okay, and a shadow from the awesome crocheted blanket they have draped over here. It's nice and cozy. Uh, I'm down here. Okay, so we have some shadowing going on. I'm going to go with the next one up, which is going to be the 50%. Going in the darkest areas. And darken the um, edges, bringing it out a little bit. Okay. 
can decorate around the little mice here too. So how are you all doing? Hope everybody's well. I'm going to darken under this seam and I'm going to go over the red because it has to be darkened too. Just don't want to pull any of that red out so I'm going over it lightly. If you put pressure on it you can drag some of that color into the gray area. which I'm probably doing anyway, but <laughs> I don't want as much as I could get if I put more pressure on that. Okay, down on this side. And dark down here and lighten it as you go up and it'll be dark up here. And then light as it comes down. And we just keep layering this color on. Be a lot of layers on here. Sorry. <laughs> Put a little more up here. I have to put some down around this too. Just gonna keep going until you decide that you like the look of that. I'm just doing this side of the chair. The other side will be done the exact same way, except for different shading over there. So we're gonna pick up a what did we just use? The 50%. We're gonna go over it now with the 70%. Basically the same thing. <laughs> going dark here. and bringing it out into the other grays. Trying to keep it as dark as you can next to the piping, which is the red line. This should cover up any of the red that you may have picked up and drug out into the light gray.
Dernier en amorce. We have the blanket again. Side. I missed a leaf there. <laughs> Should I make it gray? No, I'll go in with the reds. <laughs> We've got one more color to bring in. It's the darkest shade. Go around the button again. If you want to make this easy on yourself, what you could do is go on to Google and bring up a image of a um, like a club chair or a wing back chair and look at the shadow lines and stuff so you can get your shadow lines where they belong <laughs> or where they look best to you. I really don't have a light source on this page and I'm not really paying attention to that part of it. I just know that this is going to be dark because that rolls over and that's going to be dark up here because it's behind this part of the chair. It'll just be deeper in here. But you want to bring the color out. You just don't want it as dark on the other side. You may have one of these chairs in your house you could look at too, so always keep that in mind. Okay, the last color that we're going to bring in is the 90%. Uh, and we're going to use a little bit more pressure of this one. Kind of just underneath all the piping. I'm going to bring it out into the other gray we just put down 
under here where it needs to be the darkest. So we are putting pressure on here, going over the red. And even the piping up here. And then just blending that back out. Not as far as the other ones, just a little bit. Then on the bottom, I want this the darkest. So pressure and then just bring it up a little. Now one of the nice things about this particular piece, if you don't want it uber smooth and burnishing, it is a piece of fabric and fabric has texture to it. So that the uh, little bit of tooth that's still in the paper can help you out with that if you like. This is a red flower and I said I would fix that. So let's do that before I get too far and I can't do it. Boom. There was another one here somewhere. We'll find it later. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Oh, yes, the fabric. If you don't mind this uh, kind of look, I think it's kind of cool and I'll probably leave it and not make it smooth. So that means I will have to bring in the light gray and cover up the uh, other areas or it won't um, all have that nice tooth in it. Darken this area up a little bit more just towards the back of the chair. This area. In between our legs. that I'm doing this or at least this one little mouse here in white so making it dark around this particular little mouse is going to help with the white that comes out so it's not just sitting on a page uh, white on beige you'll see it better okay And the arm of the chair.
Okay, we'll bring back in the um, 30%. And we're just kind of going to over it very lightly here. And that will be our highlighted area. And also help blend in any of those grays. Can't not get it too stripey, which I did. I'll go over that again. Sorry, there was a phone call that came in. We're just going to finish this side of it. So I'm just adding in the lightest gray. And if this starts to look a little too blotchy, I'm just going to have to go back in with all the colors again. And then blend it in a little better which is all fine and dandy with me because <laughs> that's what I spend most of my time doing anyway. Ooh, that was just a little too red down here, but I don't think you saw that, so we're not going to worry about it. I'll erase that part. Okay, what we're going to do is go back in. Uh, not with the 70. Let's see. The 50, I think, and we'll bring some of that out. Sometimes when I do this, I sit there and think in my head, you know, if I did this with Distress Ink, this would be done already. <laughs> but I know sometimes it's hard to try new medias. Oh, when I do the Distress Ink, sometimes it's hard for people to follow along with it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more pressure here, putting the, um, this is the 50% down, filling in any of the little holes. I guess I am going to make this smoother than I wanted to, but that's okay. Could probably take a blending stick in here, but then I'm risking all that red. blurring all over the place. So I'm just going to go back and forth with the grays. Put a little more pressure on it so we don't get all those lines. But we still get our fabric. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work there.
Okay. Ugh. Taking forever, sorry. <laughs> Just bringing it down and bringing it up. Just a bit darker here. Okay. Bring in the darkest. What did I have? 50, this is 70, just going over it again, a bit darker than I intended, but Eh, it's a chair. It'll look good at the end. Same thing. Just go down the edge and bringing it in, bringing it out. to do her legs while I was at it, didn't I? Okay. And uh, let's see. I've got the cool gray 10% here and just in the lightest area and blend it all up on the leg at least. <laughs> Go in here and see how that looks blending all this in too. So we're just going to use the 10% to kind of blend it in. So kind of like a blending tool, but it's just the lightest color here. So we'll get all that blended and kind of smoothed out. Texture is going to go away, but that's the way it goes. Like I said, you know. I never map out anything here. I just color till I like it. <laughs> and if I do something and I do it in one spot, I got to do it in all the spots. So it looks right. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to go through here and Put in the 10%, going around the um, 
red this time because this will pull the red out. I'm going to get all that red all over the place, aren't I? Shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Okay, so basically that's all I'm going to do for the rest of, uh, well, while I'm sitting here, but basically that, just blending all this together. We're going to go ahead and um, just blend it up here a little bit and get these little micey done, at least the one mouse. And then you can leave me comments if you want to see the rest of this page finished. Or if you just want to see it, because I mean, my whole intent on this video is just to get the mice done. I didn't mean to make an hour video doing a chair. <laughs> just ridiculous. So anyway, we got the mouse area finished here. So what we're going to do, chair is just going to be done the rest of the way like that. We are going to take in a little bit. We're going to do this little little girl here. Now what I do to the mice to get them white, mommy or daddy, whoever is reading the book is going to be a different color, which is going to be interesting. Maybe we'll do mommy white. No, I'm going to do this one white. I take a couple of grays and they're the light ones. So um, we're going to use the blue, the same ones we used in the chair. We're going to go with the 30, the 10, and the 50. Now we know she needs a little bit of uh, shading underneath her chin here. So I'm just taking, and this is the 30%, uh, a little of this gray down in here. Okay, so she needs a little bit of shading there. We're going to shade kind of under her nose here around her nose. Just give her a little color there. A little color around her eyes and under where her eyelashes are and uh, around her ears. The inside will be pink. So she's got the two fuzzies and then the one ear here. Just add a little bit more of that. We'll take <laughs> the 50% and we're going to add just a little bit more under her eyelashes, bridge of her nose here. If we want her to have a little puffy cheek, we'll add that in there very lightly and make sure that this is defined. She's got a blanket here, so the farthest back ear is also going to have a little shadowing on it, so we're going to put a little in there. Go back to the 30, lighten that up a little, come out a little bit more with the fluff. Okay. I think what I'll do is when I upload this, I'll find out where the mouse part is and we will just give you the option of watching the coloring of the mouse. Okay, now I did it with both the white Pasca 
and the um, <sighs> Uniball signal um, because sometimes my Posca does not work. And I'm going to get out a blank piece of paper here. Uh, I usually have one that has color on it. I like those better, so let's see if I can find one. Well, there's a reason because <laughs> here we go. If I don't have one with color, I don't know if the white is working or not. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to take the Posca. It has to be shook up because it's acrylic paint. And we'll go on there and see if it works. Okay. Then we're going to pause the video for just a second. I have to cough. Okay. So we're going to um, just kind of start someplace to add fluff in on her. Now I know I'm going to put some fluff up here. So we're going to just add some of these lines right on top of the gray that we put down. And if the needs to have a little more white in there, you just push on the pen top thingy again. We pull our fur out into the chair so you can see it. Same with the ears. We'll pull it out. Give it really fluffy little ears. Want to get rid of these um, black lines? And you just keep going over it. And I don't know if you can see all the lines that are happening there. You should be able to. But we're just going to keep going until she is covered in little white lines. It will pick up some of the gray but that's uh, to our advantage because we're getting shadows that way. It depends on how fluffy you want her. You just keep adding. If you use both of them, you, excuse me. If you use both Bosca and the other one, you get a little more dimension in her fur. The Bosca is a um, acrylic, and I'm not. This is ink, so. I'm just very lightly touching it and bringing some of these down, but you want to make sure that you bring you know, the underside of the fur first and then bring layers on top of that if you want your little mousy to have some definition. So the bottom layer would be at the top up here, so you'd put it up here. 
and then work your way down towards her nose. So that the lines down here go on top of the little lines up there. Just kind of makes it look a little bit more like the fur is laying on top of it. Same with the ears. Go out here first. And then go closer to the inner ear, laying fur on top of it. Just teeny tiny little strokes. The other mouse, my daughter thought it would be really cute to have a little white mouse because it uh, was taking a bath and it was going to be clean. <laughs> and this little one is going to be falling asleep, having a bedtime story read to her. So basically, that is the white mouse. I will put a little pink inside of her ear. I'll probably have to go over some of those lines, but go in with um, a little beige and a light, what is this, light peach. Same color we used on the um, chair. I'm going to bring in just a tiny touch, very lightly, of the raspberry. Do the same on her nose. Very light raspberry. That would blend all that in with the light peach. And her eye. <laughs> the other eye was open, so I didn't have to do this part. I'm going to bring in a little bit of the white in here. And then we'll do some black eyelashes because we can't see them anymore. her whiskers because you can't see them anymore either. And just touch up that little bit of black there. And redraw that line there. And there we have our little fuzzy wuzzy little white mouse. Okay, so like I said, leave a comment below if you want to see the rest of this picture finished. And I will leave a comment in the um, open up box on how to do just the little mouse, what time that starts, in case you just wanted to see the little mouse done. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.